realise he's turning. He might come back up. Tina! Come here! <laughs> come here! Stop it! Oi! Here he comes! see my screen unfortunately. I got no idea whether you're getting this or not. And I got my dog pulling at me as well obviously. Maybe I could zoom. It'd work better if I could see what I was looking at. No. I just got pointing the phone in the general direction folks. I don't think I've got my screen brightness turned up high enough and I can't get to the brightness while I'm in the camera. He's turning around and going to come right back, right back at me. Okay, I can see that he's on the screen, in the middle of the screen now. I see that. Turn around the other way this time. And I've got a dog lead wrapped around my legs. Don't think he's going to come right the way around. I think that's him done. Off into the distance. Well, that was uh, unexpected. Yeah, he's gone. Okay, folks. Friday, 29th of December. Uh, a little bit after 10.30. Just come over 10.40, something like that. But, uh, a lovely placid morning. Uh, the weather forecast is for cloud all day. Which is interesting because three or four days ago the next ten days were all going to be clear clear skies and sunshine. Now the next ten days are all total cloud, no sunshine. Um, I don't know. It's going to be difficult I'm trying to harvest solar if it's as bad as the forecast shows. Uh, last night we got down to five degrees inside the tent. Um, I was toasty warm. Tina was too warm. She wouldn't actually get in the bed. Let's show you the girl. There she is, look. Tina girl. Say hello to the peoples. Say hello to the peoples. Hey. Mm. There you go. Yeah, Tina was too warm. Um, I guess me and my uh, six litres of hot water in the bed. <laughs> I got my little hot water bottle on me and then two two litre pop bottles inside a cushion cover to uh, insulate them. Oh, and then <laughs> my new flask from Karen. My new flask has been used exclusively so far for uh, mulled wine. So somewhere between 10 o'clock and midnight, I'll warm up the water. It's in three batches, three pans, three panfuls, pans full. Not sure how quite to uh, split that word. Um, and then afterwards I do a kind of a 50-50, shall I do some mulled wine tonight or not? Nah. Flask holds about a litre. I put about a third of a litre of wine in the pan and then uh, fill it with cola. Um, well, not fill it, it's half full because it's only the pan holds about two litres when I do the pop bottles and things. But uh, I do roughly a litre and uh, save that in the flask. And throughout the night, or, or late, it depends what time I do it as well. I'm more likely to do this if it's 
10 o'clock than if it's midnight. At midnight there's not too much drinking to be done. Uh, so, depends how late I stay awake. Which, interestingly, I guess we can talk about this. Yesterday I slept on an awful day. I watched three movies, but it took me about six attempts because I kept falling asleep through them. So I'd put a Christmas movie, these like, what you might call Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm a bit of a sucker for, for romance at this time of year. Don't ask why, I don't know. They just get me, I'm, I'm just in that mood. Um, so I, uh, I'd put these films on kind of doze and watch and doze and watch, then fall asleep and think, oh, how far did I get? And I have to come back to the middle of the film and watch them. But basically, I kind of lay in or on the bed all day on and off yesterday. I just slept, I don't know. It's kind of two o'clock before I knew what was happening. I'd been awake. I mean, here's the, here's the background to it. For three or four nights, I've been awake more or less all night listening for mice and the bigger ones that are not mice. And if you've followed my story so far, you'll know. Oh no, you won't know. I haven't said I haven't done a video on this yet. Okay, Christmas Eve into Christmas morning, we caught a rat, killed a rat. Christmas night into Boxing Day, I got a mouse. The next day I kind of fell asleep, the next night I fell asleep and didn't, I didn't hear a trap go off but I heard what sounded like something running about, something big heavy running in the non-bedroom part of the tent, the, the outer part of the tent and when I put lights on and shouted it didn't stop, normally they'll scurry away and run away, this didn't stop for 30 seconds, 40 seconds, I don't, maybe a minute, this thing went on. And then it then it went quiet and I thought, oh, it's it's gone. And I dozed back off. Not too much thought. It's only in the morning I thought, oh, I wonder if that was like the death throes of something caught in, in the in the trap. And when I looked the trap was overturned. But I couldn't see I couldn't, there wasn't a tail or a, there was no sign of an animal until I got right down and went to pick the mouse, uh, the rat trap up, it's the bigger of the traps, I went to pick it up and I, before I grabbed it I could see to one side and under, like my bedroom wall is, is a, this thing was tucked right under the, and there's a bulge in the wall, I think it's the mattress pushing, pushing the wall out. And that's when I saw it. So the second rat in three days, uh, or three nights, and uh, the third, three consecutive nights with with an animal caught in the traps. And then I've got to pick the fucker up and put it in the bin. Pardon my French. I don't find that easy. I don't find, I, if you've followed my story, you'll know I'm, I don't hate them. The mice and the rats, I think they're really intelligent animals, I really do. I kind of respect them, or I've gained a respect for them, I, I should probably say. Um, I have gained, uh, the mice in particular, I mean they're so fast and so, when they've invaded my bedroom, and I've had to just learn to tolerate them to an extent. Tina, stop pulling. Tina! think she's the boss of me. The mice in particular I was saying, they're, they're so fast and, and when I see them I can't make them go away. I just have to pull with them being there until one of them gets the trap. And there was a time when the rat trap was inside my bedroom. The, I've, I've got four traps supposedly, one's missing in action at the minute. But I've got three traps in use and the rat trap was inside my bedroom and I'd moved it away from the door and just put it to one side so the dog wasn't standing on it as we went in and out. And it went off one day. I'd seen a tail, I knew there was a, my, a mouse about. But when it, when it went off, 
and I went to the trap it had caught two at once that was difficult but I wasn't watching death throws there was no that, 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 that was instant because the big trap is so big those were instant some of the other ones have gone off with the mice in and, and caught them tangentially caught them you know not not an instant kill and and you get there and you look and, and you're catching the death throws and this one the other night with the rat I must have gone on a minute and I didn't even I didn't even understand what was happening I was a bit foggy a bit because I just woken up I didn't hear the normally I hear the trap go off and they sound you can hear the metal sometimes it sounds like metal on metal sometimes it sounds like metal on wood and sometimes it's just a dull and you know that it's got something I was asleep, I didn't hear it go off. I just heard the, what I thought, what I interpreted as running out in the, the non-bedroom part of the tent. The, but that was obviously it was the death throes, it was thrashing about, but it was going. It wasn't quick. It wasn't quick. And, I didn't work out what had happened, I didn't think it through until morning, so he lay there all night. Anyway, I don't know. That's not where they started off, there was a plane flying in the sky and it was all good. Let's have a look, Let's have a look around at the morning, uh, the morning sky and weather. So here we're facing back towards camp. I think, roughly speaking, that's where the wind's coming from. So all of that high cloud, it doesn't look too thick or too heavy. Maybe the sun can burn it away in another hour or two by noon. Maybe we'll get some clearer sky. Unless it's thicker and heavier that gets blown this way. And it does look a little that way, doesn't it? If you look here, there are patches of blue. There are patches of blue. But if you look over there, which is where it's coming from, um... Oh, it looks a bit more solid. Now, my, I've come through the night and my phone's still on 50%. Uh, and I've got a couple of days worth of charge in the power bank that hasn't been used. It's, it's about half charged. So I think I've got enough to get through till tomorrow. Even without any sun today. I think. If I'm careful and use the power saving modes correctly on the phone. But here we go folks, here we go. We got a couple of days until New Year. Let me see if I can zo zoom in on, on these birds down here. Can we see those? I can't. They're on the end there, look. Middle of the screen now. But I got a dog moving. Okay. Like I said, it's a nice day. No real plans. Probably stay in camp again. Probably stay in the tent most of the day. Um, I've still got a bag of Brussels sprouts that needs using. I've no idea what kind of state they're in. They were they were frozen originally, and bought what? Was it the day before Christmas? Uh, no, I think I bought them the day before Christmas Eve. Yeah. Uh, they might not have survived, I don't know. We'll have to see. I used up the rest of my turkey yesterday. Fried off the last... Uh, um, steaks is the wrong word. Fillets. Fillets. Chicken fillets. Just had those uh, on on sandwiches, but I've got a lot of food in. I've got a lot of food in. Um, potatoes, onions, carrots. Um, not so much in the way of meat. A little bit of chorizo. 
and uh, uh, mortadella. I'll think of something. Anyway, folks, from Tina and from me, Delta Mike, out. So who can explain this shit? Why does my dog think she's Ermintrude? For anyone that doesn't know, that's the cow from the Magic Roundabout, eating grass. Don't understand this behaviour at all, but I'll let her do it every now and again. But I don't let her overdo it, because that upsets her stomach. Come on, babe. Tina girl.